Okay, shall we begin with a little prayer? Amen. Okay, um, it's, just, it's at the end of Sabbath here, and there's a brother um, posted a, a question in regards to the time of ignorance. So rather than say, spend time sending a big long reply and try to explain something that's really better explained on a whiteboard, we decided to do a short presentation, not going to take too long, just to explain. Um, before we begin, I just want to explain the, the board. This is the illustration here, is the correct illustration as, as we understand it, uh, based upon the time of ignorance for the priests, the Levites, and the 11th hour workers. And this is an illustration of how our brother across the seas understands it and he's asking this question and, and I, I don't believe he's you know asking it in a, in a wrong manner or anything he's truly struggling with this concept so hopefully we can help him to, to see why this is incorrect now in order to do that if we quickly go to Acts chapter 17 there's a, a principle um, that we need to see here Now, he asked the question, and the question is based upon the fact that God's dealing with man is ever the same. This is his whole principle for asking this question. So, um, but it's laid out here in this where we get the time of ignorance from. But in verse 29, it says, For as much then, as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like a gold or silver or stone graven by art and man's device. So we know that this is a rebuke telling us that we are not to understand God as these false idols. And the false idols at the end of the world are false doctrines. So it's a rebuke to us for our false understanding, false, false concepts of who God is based upon a correct interpretation of Scripture. But it says in verse 30, And the time of this ignorance God winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. So, in this illustration, it marks the time where you're brought to repentance. And what brings you to repentance is the point where the message is confirmed. And the message is confirmed right here at 9-11. This being right here, the time of ignorance for us, from 1989 to 9-11 and when that message that came forth there that we didn't understand was confirmed here at 9-11 right, by a strike on New York a strike on the city right, was typifying a strike on the cities the message was proven to be correct and we're all brought to repentance right? so repentance is the first message and as a principle, God demonstrates the end by the beginning. The first message, according to Great Controversy, points to the third message. And God demonstrates the end by the beginning. So at the beginning, there's a strike upon the cities. And at the end, there's going to be a strike upon the cities. Because it says here, verse 31, Because he hath appointed a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness. So in the time of ignorance, as a time of ignorance, that it ends when the message is confirmed. Because John 15, 22 says, If I had not come and spoken unto you, you would have had no sin. But now, there, uh, now you have no cloak for your sin. Because Christ 
brings the message here which gets confirmed and now you've got no cloak for your sin so you're now being tested and this test begins and it's pointing you to the judgment the third test which is the end first is the beginning third is the end and it's confirmed by a strike right so if God's dealing with man is ever the same it has to be the same across the board right so the group here which is down here okay midnight for the priest is midnight for the priest here they get brought to repentance by a strike by Islam that's what convicts them pointing them to their third step that's going to be confirmed by a strike by Islam it then down here brings this next group okay to a confirmation that the message is correct by a strike from Islam points to their third step to a strike by Islam so you have uh, three times of ignorance okay all relevant to each group but the problem being is that this this time of ignorance here re represented here because we put two way marks in here because there's two fractals there because this from here to here is represented by two messages so when you're dealing with the two messages you have these two fractals but this brother wants to break down these fractals and say that this fractal is representing this and this fractal is representing this so this is what he's doing when you look here but if you look at this pattern when you when you bring it right you see this is his model and we'll go through it in a moment there's a strike here there's a strike here so the first line is, is identical but when you change it the way that he's done it it brings you down it's um, <clears throat> when you get to here instead of being 2014 like we have here because of these fractals he wants to take this way mark and put it here right so he wants to take this now and bring it to here as their time of ignorance rather than the whole thing which would be 2014 as this center way mark like here so he's bringing this smaller fractal and he's putting it there but this is now going to affect everything right we'll see how it affects everything firstly where where is the warning judgment message of what's coming at 2014 because in each of these way marks in 1996 there's a warning message about the sunday law that, that's coming and even though it was only in type right there 9 11 confirmed that history was repeating itself right and then in 2014 when the second message arrives that that begins its message of righteousness and it incorporates a, a message going forward here that's pointed to midnight where there's going to be a strike and the sunday law because sunday law was typified here by the um the patriot act okay and straight here in their time of ignorance the midnight uh, the priests at point b they begin giving a message right there to the whole world that gets confirmed right here and gets confirmed by a strike and the Sunday law so firstly there is no Sunday law there for a start right and there's no strike by Islam there on the cities although there might be an increase of of Islamic strikes but that's all part of the message because this is this is the the time period here is marking where they're tormenting so the increases will begin to increase especially as we get closer because God's word is preaching that's about to happen and it, they're going to increase more and more and we already see a major event taking place in the Middle East that's going to lead to that point so you have, have that straight away so the first line is the same but now we take that we put 2007 here and the next one would obviously be this the, this comes in here and this then comes in here and you now have midnight for the Levites their, their third step and then you follow it down again so the next one would be this comes in here this comes in here this comes in here and at least the, the third step for the 11th of the workers so the, the three third steps are fine they're still the same 
So it looks nice, right? It, it looks like it's nearly the same, but it's not, right? You've got this problem, you've got this problem right here, and down here, what you have is, if this was correct, right here at this way mark, the Gentiles would now be getting tested. They would now be accountable. They would have had to have got a message right here, the Gentiles. No. Now, in this time period, telling them, and they must come to uh, uh, receive this message and get convicted about it by here, and they are being tested. But it's not possible because it says right here, according to Matthew chapter 10, this is the third step for the priest, go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Go not to the Gentiles. Can't be, right? Yeah. You've, Cornelius. Yeah, Cornelius, this, this is the sixth to the ninth hour, Cornelius doesn't begin to be spoken about by God until the ninth hour, marking the point where the Gentiles are now hearing, because th th this would be... No, uh, in this illustration it would be until the point be the ninth hour. Ah, okay, ninth hour, sorry, I'm just looking, you're, you're correct. Sixth to ninth hour here, this is where they would be... Um, Cornelius would be hearing it for the first time because that has to be their time of ignorance and yet here it's pushed forward here into this in this first step. So, and now, now nothing against the brother but there was a <clears throat> there was a big, several weeks back there was a bit of a, a discussion over the structure and the seven way marks and all these things and how it's all been agitated and people were trying to throw extra way marks in. And yet here we have another attack, and, I, I, and I'm not getting at this person, because I, I don't believe he's doing it intentionally, but nonetheless, Satan, you know, he agitates these little things. He can put thoughts in our mind to, to ask questions, and it's good that these questions are asked so that we can get a time to, to show why it's wrong. And that brother, the only way that it would be wrong is if he, after understanding this, continues to agitate that. But we're told to guard the way marks, right? So we're spending time showing why this can be, okay? So um, you can see, it's, it, if, you, if you were to draw these out and just go through it yourself and follow the pattern, the pattern has to be the same. It has to be the same each time in each element. Like for you, you've got the first and second angel's message is the... This is the former rain, it's the types lead you down to the, the latter rain. Okay, and, it, and it's the same here, same there, same here, same there. It depends on which group is being dealt with. And each group has a time of ignorance where they get a message, okay, but they're not accountable for that message until the strike comes that confirms the, 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 the Sunday law, right? So you, you have that martyr beginning and end. You don't have it here. It breaks the consistency. Miller says, if you can prove your theory without a contradiction, then you know you have the truth. But if not, you have to go back and start over again. So um, just for, for this point right here and this point right here, you can see that it causes problems. Right? It breaks the pattern. And God's dealing with man is therefore not the same. Okay, so that's why that, that is correct. Because these two messages between here are just treated as one experience. Right, it's one experience that prepares you for the third. One experience that prepares you for the third. One experience that prepares you for the third. But it seems because of two fractals, he's looking at these two fractals as two experiences. But, but it's not, right? It's one test from here to hear leading you to your thought. And that's what God's demonstrating by the beginning. Repent, bring you to the judgment, final test. So, and remember that um, symbols of, or can have more than one meaning. So the, these fractals are, are showing lots of different things. And we're not to mix up the thoughts and meanings, what they're trying to illustrate. So I hope that helps to clear that up and I'm sure if there's any more questions we
Okay, then we ask for any. Yeah, you, you, you just have in 1996, right, the message that was preached by Brother Jeff this was pointing to what was Daniel 11, 40 to 45, right, which takes place at the time of the end, which is midnight's the third step. It's pointing, it's pronouncing the judgment that takes place at the third step. You would have then to show at 2007, if this would be correct, how there was a message given pointing to the judgment, third step of yeah. the Levites. Right, which was not given there because it was discovered from 2014 onward, where the light came about Ezra 7-9, yes. which discovered also 2 Chronicles 29, which is these two groups from the priests and the Levites. So 2014 was the message that pointed to the judge or that discovered the judgment of the Levites. The These two step. groups, right? Yes. Yes. So, so because, oh, and this, uh, we're just, just okay. to because the first end message, like you already said, is pointing to the judgment, right? Yes. To the third step. That's the principle behind it. Yes. So this one here is pointing to here. Yes. yes. And therefore, this one here is pointing to here. Amen. Right. Yes. I mean, it's also pointed to here, right? Yes. But but it's but it's pointed forward to there because this one here was pointed to here, right? But it's also pointed forward to down here, right? There's another inconsistency that I just realized in the raising up of the prophets or the messengers. 1996 marks the messenger being raised up. Yes. 2007, you would have to show how okay, okay. our messenger would be raised that's up That's there. a good point, right? And j just to finish the point, um, in, the, in the last line, which is the line for the, you know, the, the perfect line, you have the true prophet being raised up, so you would have to show how the true prophet is raised up in 2016. Yes. So there's another. Still imperfect in 2016. I haven't seen it so far. Yes. So this is the type, this is the anti-type. Should be, yes. because when you compare it with the other one. Right? Ah, okay, no, 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 sorry, that's wrong. It should be. The, it should be. Yeah. It, sh it should be the end. But it's still imperfect. It's still imperfect, right? Yes. But when you go down here, if we draw in here, right, there's a... These big pens are not good in the TV, do That's better. So there's a messenger raised up in 1996. 2014 marks the second angel's message now. There, there's a, a, a group of people being raised up to give this message right here, right? So. It's still types, right? Because none of this matters until you get to the third step because it makes no difference anything here because right here is Samuel the prophet. Yes, yes Samuel, represented by all the prophets, the messenger, right? Okay. So this is the anti type, right? These are just a type. It's also John filled with the spirit from the mother's womb. Yes. Down there. Oh, when he's perfectly fulfilled. Yeah, when he went through the God's yes. spirit. So, the fact, let me just put that in red so it stands out a bit better because it's a bit of contrast there. purpose of the Lord is bringing us down to this line which is this line right so you can have this perfect fulfillment the message arrives there's an increase in knowledge 
the prophet is raised up, he gives the message, the message is confirmed, right? And it takes you points down to the judgment where the last, you know, the last third step takes place and comes brings you to the close of probation where the nations close their probation. So many reasons why that can be correct. What is the difference between 2007 and 2016, 17? No messenger, no messenger. Because the 2016, ah, okay. You see what I mean? 2007 is the, set, is the proclamation of the second angel's message, and 2016, 17 is the proclamation of the third angel's message. So that, that, there's basically no difference in it. I, I wouldn't say that there's a messenger. It's not raised, no, it's not no, no, because no, no, it's not marked really. by 2014, so. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it has to be, it has to be marked by the messages, right? Yes. Right. Yeah. So you got, you got a person here, you got a group of people here. You got the perfect fulfillment here when there's this group that begins the the antichrist right there. Okay, any yes. more points? I'm sure there will be more. But I'm sure there's a whole bunch more that you could find that you, you dig out there. But you can see the 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 inconsistencies where where is this this perfect harmony and what's been illustrated. Okay, shall we close with a word of prayer? <coughs> Dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for the these wonderful patterns. You are the pattern man, you teach us line upon line, and your dealing with us is ever the same. And you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we praise you for these principles. And we know soon, Lord, that we're going to be tested on these principles to see whether we know you or whether we don't know you. And if we don't know you, we're going to persecute our brothers and sisters. And it's a great test. It's the last great test that's coming upon this world. And I pray, dear Father, that you would help us to really think about the principles, think about Miller's rules, think about everything. And remember that if you can, once you brought everything together, if you can form your theory without a contradiction, then you know you have the truth. And I pray that each one of us would not try to force things together because it looks nice, and but rather allow God's word to teach us and reprove us. And we thank you for your great and many blessings. And we ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen.